Hey everyone, this is the first video we have recorded uh, in a semester and a half, and so I'm not guaranteeing we are going to get through this without giggling. But today we are going to uh, learn about insulin um, needles, TB needles, subcutaneous needles, and uh, our IM needles, and how to select which one of these is most appropriate. So uh, the first needle I'm going to show you syringe I'm going to show you is the TB syringe. Can you see that okay? Let me move closer. And the TB syringes are normally uh, 27 gauge by 5 eighths inch. Sometimes they are 27 gauge by half inch also. But you can see that these TB syringes, tuberculin syringes, are very small. They only have one mil capacity and they are very um, kind of short and they're thin very skinny because they don't hold very much. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to remove the safety cap just for a minute to see if you can see how small that needle is. Okay, so I'm going to put the safety cap back on. And move on to the insulin needles. The insulin needle is very similar to the um, tuberculin needle in size. It also only holds one mil, but that mil is broken down into units. And so this one actually only holds um, 50 units, which is a half a mil. Most of the insulin syringes will hold 100 units, which is one full mil. The needle size is uh, also similar. It is uh, 29 gauge, so it's a little bit smaller and uh, a little bit shorter also. It is a half an inch. And so the way that needle gauges work is the higher the number, the smaller the needle. So I will show you the difference between these two. So you can see um, probably barely, but the insulin needle is actually thinner than the tuberculin needle. And that is because this is a 29 gauge needle and this is a 27 gauge needle. So the lower the number, the bigger the needle. It's kind of how that works. Okay, let me put these back on. When you are recapping needles, you don't ever want to um, put them on with your fingers. You want to lay the cap down and then scoop it up and then press it down. Okay, so the next size needle we have is our subcutaneous needle. These needles are 25 gauge, um, so they are a little bit bigger than those TB needles, and they are 5 eighths inch uh, length also. And to give you an idea, I'm going to lay all these out so you can see in just a minute, kind of compare them. And then the last one, um, I do not have any intramuscular injection um, syringes that come with needles. I need to order some. So instead we're gonna make do. And this is a uh, 21 gauge, one and a half inch needle. Let's say one and a half, yeah. One and a half inch needle. So to show you the difference, so that one is um, 21 gauge. So it is the biggest of the needles that we have in class and it is an inch and a half long. And that is because this is going to be used for an intramuscular injection. And so we have to go through um, the subcutaneous tissue or the fatty tissue to get down to the mus muscular um, layer, muscle layer, is that right? Muscle layer. And um, so we need to have it uh, be just a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm gonna lay all of these out really quick so you can see the difference in size. So now that these have touched this um, uh, chuck that we have here, we are, thank you. We are, um, I'm gonna dispose of all of these. You can't use these on a patient, they've been laid down. Okay, so from smallest to biggest, we have insulin, which is a 29 gauge. It's very thin. 
And it's a, uh, these particular insulin syringes are only 50 units or half a mil capacity. We have our tuberculin syringes, which are 27 gauge. This, this particular needle is five eighths five eighths um, inch long. And uh, so this is used for TB injections. And then we have our, my hands were, my hands got sweaty. Um, then we have our subcutaneous injections and our syringes and needles. And these are 25 gauge and they are five eighths inch long also. So you can see that these two are actually the same length. It's just that this 25 gauge is bigger than this 27. And then lastly, we have our intramuscular needle and this is uh, 21 gauge and is one and a half inches long. So that should give you an idea of um, how to select which needle to use when you begin to do the injection. So if I tell you that you're doing an IM injection, then you should know that you need to select the bigger and longer needle because it's gonna have to go down to the muscle layer. Um, if you're going into the fatty tissue, you should know that you should select this 25 gauge, five eighths inch syringe. And if I tell you that you're doing TB or insulin, you should be able to differentiate between those two and select the appropriate one for those um, injections also. So that's it for needle and syringe selection. If you have any questions, let me know.